In this video, we take cloning to the next level and talk about reproductive cloning. Reproductive cloning is a process used to produce genetically identical individuals. There are multiple ways in which you can clone animals. One of them is artificial embryo twinning and somatic cell nuclear transfer. Somatic cell nuclear transfer can be achieved in two ways. One is cell fusion and the other is actual nucleus transfer. The first cloned large animal was a sheep named Dolly who was born in 1996. So let's talk first about artificial embryo twinning. Artificial embryo twinning can be achieved by separating the embryo at an early stage, for example, the two cell stage, into two separate cells, which are exact genetic copies of each other, and growing those cells in separate petri dishes, leading to the formation of twin embryos. These embryos are then allowed to grow in a surrogate mother to form two genetically identical individuals. The second method to produce genetic clones is somatic cell nuclear transfer. This can be achieved via cell fusion as shown in this image. The cloned sheep Dolly was produced using this process. During the process, a donor sheep's mammary cell was extracted from the udder so the mammary cell is a somatic cell it was extracted from the udder and grown in a culture flask in the laboratory and maintained at an arrested stage in the cell cycle called the g0 phase so that the cells would not grow and divide Another sheep's unfertilized egg was extracted and the nucleus from that cell was removed. So the nucleus was removed. The enucleated egg cell was fused with the somatic mammary cell that still had the nucleus by providing the cells with electric impulses which help facilitate fusion, thus mimicking fertilization, leading to the formation of a fused cell that contained the nucleus from the mammary cell and all the proteins from the egg cell that now could aid the development of an embryo. The resulting embryo was then implanted into a surrogate sheep and allowed to develop inside the womb of this sheep leading to the birth of Dolly who was genetically identical to the sheep that donated the nucleus to the enucleated egg. Another way in which somatic cell nuclear transfer can be achieved is by taking cells from the tissue cell donor and growing them in a dish, followed by the removal of just the nucleus from the donor cell and subsequent injection of the nucleus into an enucleated egg cell that comes from an egg donor. The egg donor provides an unfertilized egg. The nucleus of the tissue cell donor is injected directly into this empty egg. An embryo is allowed to develop for about a week and is then implanted into a surrogate mother which gives birth to a cloned animal. This cloned animal will have the exact same DNA or genetic material as the tissue cell donor. So the difference between this technique and the one I described in the previous slide is that in this technique, the nucleus from the donor somatic cell is directly injected into the empty unfertilized egg cell. Whereas in the earlier procedure, the donor somatic cell was actually entirely fused with an empty unfertilized egg cell. After Dolly, several animals have been cloned to date, including pigs, mice, and cows. 
supporting the hypothesis that the nucleus of a somatic cell can in fact be reprogrammed to an embryonic state. Thank you.